Alright guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to spray paint your crutches. Okay, we're going to make these look cool. Um, you know, I'm sick of just having regular crutches. I got two pairs, so I figured why not, you know, paint one of them. So first step is going to be I got to un unassemble. I want to take all these rubber pieces off. Most of these just pop right off like that. Pops right off. And you got to twist this one, I believe. Yeah, so after you take this all apart, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some sandpaper that I got here. I don't think it really matters what great, you don't, you know, you just wanna rough it up a little, you know, before you paint it so the paint sticks better. And make sure you keep all your pieces, you don't lose anything. Uh, and that just comes out like that. That's nice. Okay, this part just comes off. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other crutch, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I got them all stripped down. I got the rubber taken off. Um, I got the middle, you know, the middle pad, the brace or whatever taken off. So now I'm just gonna take uh, my sandpaper and I'm just gonna sand the hell out of it. Just sand everything. thing to the other one and I'll be right back. Alright guys so now that I got them both all sanded I'm just gonna wipe all the dust off of them with a damp rag. Okay good enough you know um normally you're gonna want to prime this I forgot to get primer when I sent people out to the store and I'm kind of immobile right now hence the crutches so we're not gonna prime it but you, you you could prime it I don't think you really have to but we're gonna do it today without priming okay so we're gonna do fluorescent and we're gonna do yellow and pink so this should look uh this should look pretty neat um, so I'm gonna set all this all right, up guys so I got the fluorescent yellow that's the lighter color so if you're gonna do you know, more than one color, you're gonna to wanna to do the lighter color first, you know, just make it easier in the long run. Okay, and uh, with spray paint, remember, it's very important, you wanna do thin coats, you know, I don't wanna just lay this on here, I wanna do, you know, just a couple thin coats, instead of doing one real heavy coat, it'll take forever to dry, and it'll look like crap, so. You always wanna test your spray paint out, too, make sure it's spraying good, looks good. All right, spray paint, you always wanna do straight lines, and you wanna do, like, little bursts. Remember, I don't want to get a real thick coat. There's one nice and thin here. We're gonna do a couple thin coats, so that way we know we'll get it real nice looking. Okay guys, that's good for a first coat, so we're gonna wait like 15, 20 minutes and then we'll be back.
Okay guys, uh, it's two coats. It looks like it's gonna need at least three coats. I got about a third of can left, so that's probably about all I'm gonna get out of it. So we're gonna do one more coat and uh, see where we get from there. Okay guys, I only have enough paint probably to do one more coat, so I'm just gonna finish this can. That's about all she wrote with that can, so we'll let this dry, and then uh, we'll do the second color. Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna mask it off now using some painter's tape and uh, just some paper towel, and because I'm gonna do it like half pink, half yellow. I almost wish I would've got a second can. I feel like three coats maybe wasn't enough, but you know, it's good enough, and I kinda think it's cool that I can still read all the numbers and stuff. So, who knows, I mean, whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like, uh, kind of like on an angle, the way I'm going to mask it off. So I'm going to mask this off right here with some tape. Okay, and then I'm going to do it like right here on this one. Same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm going to use some paper towel and just I did it a little more than I needed it because I'm outside and it's a little windy so you never know how crazy the overspray is going to be. But you probably don't even need to tape it off this much, especially if you're really good at this type of thing. I'm doing it on one leg and I, I don't paint that much so better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so now we got the pink, we're going to do this half the pink. Alright, just like, just like the other color, we're going to wait like 15-20 minutes, give it another coat or two, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, so now I'm going to peel off the painter's tape, okay? Hopefully it, didn't, it doesn't peel off the paint under it, I don't think it would, it's not that strong. Perfect. Okay, now... I'm also going to peel back like three or four inches on each segment. I'll show you why in a second. I like that. So far, I like it. What do you think, Blade? Ah, uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> 
my doctor's around and be like, what the, what the hell are, is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I had knee surgery seven days ago, so I'm on these crutches. I had both medial and lateral meniscus and my ACL in my right knee. Okay, see I got a little overspray there, but that's totally fine. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold this kind of far away and I'm gonna spray it kind of in the middle to give like a fade effect, so. Kind of hit it hard right there. It's okay if it drips a little. That'll be fine. You can kind of use it. You want this to be kind of random looking? Or that's what I'm going for. So it's okay if it drips a little because I can just kind of smear it. Okay, I'm going to make it drip on purpose actually, like into the fade. Like that. That looks kind of cool, right? Mm hmm. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Like that. Like that look. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Okay. Peel the rest of this off. I like the way that one looks. Pretty cool. Touch that up a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay. Like I said I'm going for random here. So. Or a smooth, smoother transition there. Okay, same thing on this side. Without the transition a little more. Oops. A little heavy there. Okay. Oh shit. Fix that while I'm at it. <laughs> All right, and I think so far that looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's let that dry. I'm gonna hit it with some clear coat. We're gonna put all the attachments back on it and see how see how these babies look. But so far, I'm liking it. All right, guys, now I'm just going to hit it with the clear coat, and uh, that's pretty much it. So. Okay. All right, guys, so I do like how these look, so let's just reassemble them. If you're not sure where you're supposed to put this, normally the standard is the middle. You can't remember where you had it before. 
So usually when you get these from a hospital, it's always in the middle. If you change it, you know, it's up to you. But if you want to just know like where you originally had it, it was probably in the middle. So this part's going to be kind of hard not to scratch the paint. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I think this is pretty cool. I haven't seen any other videos on YouTube on anybody customizing your crutches, but, you know, I just had ACL surgery, so I'm going to be on crutches for a while, so I might as well make them look cool. So, if you guys make some crutches, you know, make some cool colors, and you want to make a video of it, you should uh, link your video in, in a comment below, and I'd love to check it out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these things are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Hell yeah. Do the same thing to the other one. But guys, <laughs> now I can officially say I'm crutching in style. Very awesome.